Things are weird now. I guess uh, it's time to go on a trip. I think we shall. Shall we? Le welcome everyone. Giant to be here. And it's a sometimes vlog. It's a vlog that happens sometimes. Today, we are going on a trip. I think we will start on my first YouTube series adventures on going on a trip on unusual times. I think it's a good idea. Shall you go with me? I'll see you there. Today's adventure brings us to uh, a California route from Northern California to uh, Southern California to Los Angeles. I'll be doing updates on the way. Let's start with let's start with getting on the engine. I said we're leaving on unusual times, waiting for the gate to open. So this is the video log. Start out, start the day. Leaving Concord, California, Northern California area. And we are going to be on the road here on this trip. Now, this is my very first YouTube video that involves a little bit more randomness as I had my introduction video earlier. And as you can see, we are. on the road here. I'm gonna try to edit this video the best I can for this first video showing. Down the Central Valley we go on I-5 towards Los Angeles. suburbs of San Francisco, of Concord, and sorry about my bad editing. Anywho, so here we are on I-5 South during unusual time, I may repeat. 
we are uh, just outside of uh, the town of Patterson, California. rest area now this is interesting uh, I saw buffalo actual bison being raised uh, just stopping on along the way here uh, just continuing the vlog for the day and um, well now we're approaching close to the uh, famous grapevine approaching or past uh, Glenwell, California a uh, brief thing on the grapevine, maybe a brief history of California, the state that I live in. The grapevine uh, is called the grapevine because of, well, obviously there were grapevines. Uh, in the early 20th century, early 1900s, there were grapevines on, the, on that uh, mountain. It is the Pacific Coast Plate, meaning the North American Plate, that makes it very steep. And, um, uh, in the late 1920s, they decided to pave roads to get into Los Angeles. And uh, uh, it was a two-lane highway back then in the late 1920s. And it was very, very steep for vehicles to go up the, the mountain. And uh, they only had two-lane two traffic in the early, late 1930s. And people were traveling to Los Angeles in and out. Just a brief uh, history of California on the top of my head. Just a very quick, super brief history. So the state was discovered by the um, Spaniards. The Spanish discovered it in the 1500s, uh, 1520, 1524. Uh, when the Spanish decided to map out uh, California, they had Alta and, and Baja, uh, Alta and Baja, California, and uh, you know Alta is where we're living now. Baja is uh, Baja, California, is uh, Mexico. And it was split into two parts, and of course today. Uh, and the Spanish had control of California and uh, a missionary named Junipero Serra from 1769 to 1776 had decided that he wanted to missionize the state of, or the area of California it's not a state yet and he built missions north to south from San Diego up to San Francisco from 1769 to 1776 he built missions up and down the California coastline which where we get our city cities and um, he wanted uh, to Christianize and convert the local Native Americans. So he built these missions. So Spain was in control of California. It's about eight in the 1820s when the Mexicans came about and they took over California. Spain was thrown out. So Mexico was in control of California from 1820 to about 18. 1848. Uh, the Mexican-American War took place in 1844 to 1846. In 1848, uh, Hidalgo uh, surrendered to the United States and uh, John C. Fremont took over as the first governor in 1849, 1850, when California became a state in 1850. Now in 1848, 
Thomas Marshall found uh, some gold in the uh, American River near Sutter's Mill. Well, unfortunately, when he told John Sutter about it, there was a news reporter nearby and blabbed open Pandora's box and the gold rush came about in the following year, 1849 with the gold rush. That's why you have 49ers. Related, not related to the football team. Of course, that's what the name of the football team is based on. And, um... And, of course, a year later, California becomes a state. For a brief, brief time, it was called the Bear Flag time. Um... Where, uh, Fremont and, uh, wanted to, uh... Uh, actually just have an independent country. However, uh, I know that I'm winding down on battery power. However, uh, Colonel Montgomery says, no, no, it's got to be part of the United States. So, um, became a state instead, instead of an independent country. Same thing happened for Texas in 1845, but, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, just very brief, just skipping ahead. Um, you know, the railroads took control of California, bought land. And, uh, I'm running low on battery power on this camera. I don't understand. I have to charge this later. Anyway, uh, California flourished throughout the uh, 1890s, 1880s, and 1890s. And um, uh, two great earthquakes, 1906 in San Francisco and a 1989 earthquake in San Francisco. And just, just very brief, California got very popular in Los Angeles, it was Hollywood in the 1920s. I'm gonna make it brief because my battery power is running low for this segment. I gotta charge the battery. Again, we're approaching the uh, famous grapevine. I wish I could give more details later, but uh, just signing off for this part now. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at Santa Monica Beach. I don't know if we can see the beach behind me, but. Uh,